Hey guys, it's me Haley and today I have a favorites video for you guys. I'm sorry if the background looks a little different, but I'm in my living room today and I just figured I would film here and I'm going to try to move it a little bit. Um, if you hear the trash man, I'm sorry, I think the trash is coming around right now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do some favorites because I haven't filmed a video in quite some time and my dog's probably going to make an appearance. but. We went on vacation this month, so that's definitely a favorite. We went to Jamaica, and it was just amazing. It was perfect family vacation. Um, I know I've talked about it a lot in my vlogs if you follow me there. But it was like my husband, my mom, my dad, my two younger brothers, my aunt and my uncle, my two cousins, and then my grandma and my great aunt. It was just a great vacation. Like All of us were just together in the same place. For It never really happens because I don't get to visit very often, and when we do, we go to like Texas. And I don't have enough time. But this was just like a relaxing vacation. Jamaica was beautiful. Um, and I just, I can't say enough good things about it. So with that being said, I'm going to show you, my iPad keeps like leaning. Um, I'm going to show you just some products that I've been loving. I feel like I haven't done a favorites video in a while. But these are just a couple of items that I feel like have been staples for like this month or last month or a couple, the past couple of months. Um, so the first thing with Jamaica and the summer being said I have been loving this Hawaiian Tropic Island Sport Ultra Light High Performance Sunscreen in the Light Tropical Scent. I've used Hawaiian Tropic before, but I don't think I've used this scent. But this scent was just amazing. It's just very like light and tropical smelling. And it just um, has SPF 30 and it's water sweat resistance for 80 minutes. I felt like I did get a little bit sunburn for the week that we were there, but I felt like this really did a good job as far as protecting my skin and it smelled really nice and I didn't feel like I had sunscreen on so that's always a plus so I really like this I'm definitely gonna pick more of this up for the summer I had brought this one and then another I think like a banana boat or something and I did not like that one I just wanted more of this so definitely I definitely recommend this it's just an amazing sunscreen um, and then a lotion I actually been loving my skin's been really dry especially since we've got we've got back from vacation a one week no a week it'll be today's Monday so about a week ago we got back from vacation and my skin has just been like overly dry from everything and like the climate change and coming back. So I picked up this from Target the other day. It's the um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Daily Skin Therapy Heals, Softens, Relieves Rough Dry Skin. I don't know why this is really a favorite right now because I don't feel like it's a very, it's not a thick lotion but it's not a thin lotion. Um, I've just been loving this because I really like the smell and it just really makes my skin so soft and silky. and. My really good friend, she she was she had a baby in February, and she swears by this stuff that it like healed her, helped. She put this on when she was pregnant, and it like healed her stretch marks, and just really helped out in certain areas. So I don't know. I guess it's a really good product. It says smooths marks and scars, soothes skin after sun exposure. I could vouch for that because I have been using this like crazy. I used it this morning, and I just really like it. Uh, get get your hands on it if you can because I just recommend it. It's a great a great lotion. I just love the cocoa butter scent. It's like the real cocoa butter scent, not the fake kind, you know? Okay. Next thing is actually kind of a newer product, but I have been obsessed with it. I got this in my Vox box, and this is the Dickinson's Enhanced Witch Hazel Hydrating Toner. I think it's a new product because I've never seen the hydrating one. I have been using this on a cotton round in the morning and at night, and I just love it. It's hydrating, and it makes my skin just feel so good and like revitalized and um, it moisturizes my skin which I really like in a toner. I don't like when toners extremely dry me out, dry my skin out so that's always a plus. So yeah, love this stuff. I don't really know where you can get it because I haven't seen it yet but hopefully it's in stores. Um, but yeah, I got it in my Vox box so. Okay, next product is actually shampoo and conditioner that I brought with me in on vacation. I picked this up at Target um, like a month ago. Um, and I, I just was really interested in it and I read some reviews on it because I'm a review queen. I love to read reviews on like every single product that I buy. Um, it's the John Frieda Beach Blonde. It's the Cool Dip Purifying Shampoo and then the Smooth Seas Detangling Conditioner. And I think as I was reading the reviews, this is like an older product that came back, John Frieda like brought back. And I am obsessed with this. It has like that mint scent that I love and it's supposed to basically be like, um, it's supposed to really, um, like, adds texture, prepping hair for style, and brightens for, like, minty, cool, lightweight shampoo makes all hair types look and feel summertime healthy. It just helps. It really helped my my hair was so dry from, like, being in the pool on the beach for the whole week 
when I would wash my hair at night, it was it just really helped. Um, the mint just was a really good plus, but this, I felt like it cleaned my hair, and then the shampoo was very moisturizing, where, like, my ends felt really, like, fresh and not so dry and moisturized. So I do, like, recommend this. I love it. I think I'll definitely be using this up because it just... It, it's yeah, it says like detangler calms and smooths dry snarled hair. I really felt like it's just the perfect shampoo and conditioner if you're gonna be in the beach or the pool and you know your hair is kind of like a little bit needs some like help. This is a great one. It's really affordable. I think I paid like ten dollars for both of these guys. So really, really good stuff. Another product that I've been using for a while is this Garnier Skin Active Micellular Cleansing Water, and this is they have a blue and a pink one. The blue one, the blue top is. I think it will remove waterproof uh, mascara. I don't really wear waterproof mascara too often, but I just like this because it's a little bit stronger. And yeah, I love this. It removes all your makeup. I use the simple micellar water and it doesn't, it's not the same. This one's so much better. Um, I just like this because I can take a cotton round and remove all my makeup instead of using a makeup wipe and then I'll just cleanse my face with like a regular um, cleanser. But yeah, it removes everything off of my face, all my makeup. Even if I wear like an eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow, it all comes off really easily. So I really recommend this. I like it. It's great. You can use this as a cleanser alone, but I just like using another cleanser because I'm I'm weird like that. And I just want to make sure everything's off of my face. So yeah, I really like that. Great stuff. I think I got mine at Ulta, but I think they have it everywhere. And it's lasted me a while. And I think it was like around $7. So really good stuff there. Um, a perfume that I've been loving, well, this is actually really old, and I don't think Bath & Body Works carries this anymore, I'm pretty sure, but it's the Forever Midnight Body Spray. I love this stuff. I can't even describe it, honestly, um, but if, you, if you've smelt it, um, it kind of smells really similar to the Forever Red, but just a lot different. I don't know why Bath & Body Works discontinues some of their great products, but I'm savoring this little guy because it's my last one, and it just is a really nice, like, kind of like mature sexy scent and it's like perfect for like a date night or out for dinner or for work I don't know I just love it but I can't describe it because I'm horrible at describing scents okay so then I have some a couple makeup things I picked this up at Ulta and I've never used this before but a lot of people have spoke highly of it so I picked it up it's the NYX matte finish long lasting setting spray and I don't know why I've been without a setting spray my entire life but I love this. I brought this on vacation also and just like mattified my skin because we would go out to dinner and then we would be out like drinking and like around the outside where it was 100 degrees outside. And I like this because it just it keeps my skin like fresh. It refreshes my makeup. And I even when I felt like I was sweating, I felt like my makeup was still intact. So I think it's a really good thing. And my Ulta was out of this for forever, but I finally picked it up, so I'm glad I did because I really, really like it. I think it's like $6. It's really affordable, so definitely check that out. And then I have two, like, foundation-type things that I've just been loving. Um, this is the Rimmel BB Cream in Radiance. It's a 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup, and I am in the color light. I think they only have three shades. I brought this on vacation because I just wanted a very light... Um, BB cream, and I really like this, actually gives you really good coverage for a BB cream. Like, almost foundation. Like a tinted moisturizer, but not a foundation, like, in between. But, yeah, it gives me really good coverage. I'm not wearing it today, but um, I just love it. It's it's a really good one. And Rimmel's really affordable, really good BB cream. I'm going to be wearing this a lot this summer, the rest of the summer. And the other one is the Lumi by L'Oreal. Um, I've never used this. It's what I'm wearing today, but I picked it up because Jaclyn Hill speaks so highly of it. And I'm in the color N1-2 Neutral Soft Ivory Classic Ivory. And I just love this because it's really, it's like illuminating and it's, it's not like a mattifying foundation. So if you're not into that, but I set mine with the powder this morning and I just, I like it. It just gives me really good coverage and it gives me that illuminized effect on my face that I like but not over shiny but just enough to really I don't know I like it I can't really even tell you why but it's a good foundation okay and the last thing is what I'm wearing on my lips today and I want to talk about this because I'm obsessed with this lip brand in this color this is in the color okay so what I'm wearing today I'll kind of focus in a little bit a little scary I got something right here um this is from the brand Bite Beauty, and it's the High Pigment Pencil, and I'll link it below for you guys. And this is what it looks like. I've used the crap out of this thing. 
but that is what it is. It's just like the prettiest pink color. Um, I also brought this on vacation. I got my mom to buy one because she was obsessed with it. It's just the perfect pink in my opinion. And the color is velvet. I'll see if I can, if y'all can see that. Not sure. I don't know if you can see that, but it's in the color velvet. I'll link it below. I think it's about $25 for this at Ulta, not Ulta, Sephora. And I'm obsessed with it. They're, it's moisturizing. It applies really well. Like you can't really mess it up in my opinion. And I'm not very good at applying lipstick. Um, but it's moisturizing. It's it's like a glossy awesomeness. I think the wear is really good. Someone, I read a review on it and someone said that it does come off. Like if I drink something, it's going to come off a little bit, but it's still going to have like that pink color. Um, but you can use like a primer and, it, and apparently it stays on for hours if you use a primer under it. But I don't have a lip primer and I just, I don't know. I want more of these um, colors because they have some like nude pink ones that I'm interested in. But yeah, it's just the prettiest pink color. So highly recommend that. I will definitely link this below. I will remember, to, if I remember, I'll link all these products down below so you can go check them out. Let me know what products you're loving and I hope to see y'all in my next video. Bye.